At the beginning of the 18th century, most of the countries of the world are similar in their economic prosperity. At least, the difference between America and India wasn't as obvious as we know it today. However, by the end of the 19th century, the nations of the world have been so different from one another, and by the end of the 20th century, we already have the terms first world country, second world countries, and third world countries, which are the terms used to describe how rich and powerful nations of the world are. The question here is, how do countries of the world change from being very similar economically to be as different as day and night? How does America and Europe separate themselves from Africa and Asia? This video will shed light into a deep secret about that, and I'll try to use that understanding to show you the reason why some people are rich and others poor, and most importantly, how you can discover lucrative opportunities in your country. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. How Nations Become Wealthy Before the end of the 18th century, most people in the world are farmers and hunters. These people work with their hoes and cutlasses and the implication of that is the work and productivity of a 25-year-old Joseph who lived in America is going to be similar to the works and productivity of a 25-year-old Hamid who lived in Saudi Arabia. Because people's productivity is similar, their prosperity and their nation's prosperity are expected to be similar to that of other humans from other countries of the world. But that was about to change in the year 1760 when the Industrial Revolution started in England. When the Industrial Revolution started, certain nations of the world started using technologies to improve their productivities when many others are still using hoes and cutlasses. This is not rocket science, is it? If I can use tractors to plow my farms while you use hoes and cutlasses, I'll be a thousand times more productive than you are. You may not be there in the 1780s, but you can see it today. The richest nations of the world are nations who invent and use technologies heavily, while the poorest nations invent less nor use many technologies. For instance, many towns of my country still have human beings as traffic warders instead of using technologies to regulate traffic. More than 90% of the farmers in my continent still use hoes and cutlasses. And these are just a few examples. My first goal in this video is to make you see why some nations are rich when others are poor. And what I told you now is just one important reason and I think it's too obvious. Why individuals are poor I did my best in the previous section to prove to you one major reason why some nations of the world are poor when others are rich. In this section, I'll try to surprise you by saying, well, the reason why nations are poor is the reason why people are poor, regardless of where they live. I mean, whether you live in America or Africa, if you're poor, it's very much likely because of the reason why any nation of the world can be poor, and I'll explain that. Technologies, Technologies and Technologies Henry Ford was one of the richest men in his generation. How did he make his billions? Well, Ford looked for ways to invent and use new technologies to make automobiles that can be affordable by average Americans. Steve Jobs is considered one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the history of the human race. What did he do? Steve looked for technologies to make computers available and usable by an average human. Now, let's forget these heavy guys because not many of us can be who they are. Let's think about ordinary humans with average success. I mean, that guy who is just 27 and making $300,000 per year. I mean, that 30-year-old woman who is making $500,000 per year. What do these people do differently from others? And I'll tell you. In almost every case in every generation, people who are richer than others are usually people who use technologies that others don't. When we mention technologies these days, most people think about computers and artificial intelligence. There have always been some form of technologies than others and the math is very simple. Imagine that you and I were writers in the year 1440 when the printing press was invented. Before the printing press was invented, all we did was to write our ideas in some scrolls and keep it. But when I hear the printing press has been invented, I quickly traveled out of town to the city where most people are already using the new technology. When I get to this city, I ask many questions, make inquiries and learn how the printing press technologies work. When I returned home, I started preparing my next work for the printing press and by the year 1446, I print my first book with a machine. 
while you still write your ideas in a scroll, what do you think will happen? Well, the answer is too obvious to be ignored. Because I've printed my books now, I can duplicate it into 10,000 copies and sell it around the country. You cannot possibly duplicate your scroll to 100 copies and everyone knows that I'll be 10 times more successful than you. Let's use another example. Let's assume that we are both farmers and I got to know that there's a new technology called tractors. I went to inquire how I can pay for a tractor to use it on my farm while you are busy using cutlasses and hoes. I can have 20 hectares of land as a farm while you have only 20 plots. Everyone knows that I'll be richer than you, right? Let's even use another example. You and I were selling soap in the year 1895. And when I got to know that the radio was invented, I immediately jumped at it. I spent one month to learn how radio advertisements worked and how people make their money back after paying the radio. Then I tested for another month, lost some money but learned some valuable lessons. And by the fifth month, I already started running some successful radio advertisements while you still sell your soap from home to home. Who among us will be more successful? I think the math is very simple, but nobody seems to understand it. If I use a tractor to farm while you use cutlasses, I'll be a thousand times more productive than you and I'll be a thousand times richer than you. If I understand and use technologies to promote myself or my business, while you don't use the same technologies, I'll be a hundred times more productive and richer than you. It's that simple. So how do you discover lucrative opportunities in your country? Well, my answer is simple. Use technology to do what everyone is doing. If they use technologies after you use them, learn to understand those technologies more than every one of them. I'll explain this with some example. I'm a writer and that is not a big deal. Thousands of people in my country are writers. The only difference is that I'm a rich writer while many of them are poor writers. This is how it got started. I wrote my first book in the year 2013 and what I did was very simple. I published it as a PDF for free. Just use the technology. I started selling this book on my blog even though I didn't spend a dollar for publishers. At some point, I started giving this book away while I created a back-end course which is even more profitable. The last time I checked, that book has been downloaded more than 300,000 times even though I didn't spend a dollar to publish it. Compare this with what most writers in my country do. They write and beg publishers and when they publish their book, they try to sell it in the bookstores. The problem about this is that books are no longer bought in the bookstores because people who visit bookstores often go there with certain titles in mind and only very few of them will even see your book. Talk less about buying it except you're Robert Kiyosaki or you write the biography of Elon Musk. Now, compare me with an average writer in my country and tell me what you see. Yes, you see a man who has made ten thousands of dollars with his writings and a man who is broke and the only difference is in the technology. Another personal example is that of my agri technologies company. As the name sounds, we use technologies to sell agri-related services and products and I have this to tell you. Hundreds of people are in the same business as we are but not many of them understand and use technologies as much as we do and you can guess the result. Do you want to discover lucrative business opportunities in your country? Maybe you don't need any new opportunity. Maybe all you need to do is to understand and use technologies more than everyone. If you sell shoes with technologies like the internet, phones, blogs and so on, you'll be more successful than anyone who sells theirs the old ways. If your competitors use technologies, then learn how to understand those technologies more than they do. Take for instance, you and I may be selling the same service and we may both be using Facebook ads to promote our services. But if I get $1 per click on a Facebook ad and you get $3 per click, it simply means that assuming our conversation is the same, I can make $300,000 before you make $100,000. And if I can make three times of the money you make, I can invest in smarter people and more technologies. And if I invest in employing smarter people and technologies, then I can make 10 times of what you're making. And if I can make 10 times of what you're making and I can invest in it more, technologies and people you can never afford, it's a matter of time. I can destroy you and send you back to your village. I honestly think that the concept I teach in this video is extremely simple. However, if you need us to talk more on this, we can make another video on the subject. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, 
Our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.